coming up on this John Jules and Hattie Hayridge from Red Dwarf, Holly, Cat, and Rima, they're on their way now, guys. So stay seated, gather around. We're going to have a good conversation about Red Dwarf, maybe about other stuff, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you soon, guys.
Oh. Uh, uh. oh. Hello, MCM London, how yeah. are we? Yes. Whoa. Let's have some energy on yeah. the stage. The energy, we've got the beast in the house, you That's know. That's it. <laughs> Mind when I set him loose. <laughs> nice. So how are you all? Yeah, we're good. Good. Yeah, great. So have you seen any great cosplayers around here today that you've absolutely fell in love with? Yeah, you see that guy in the Adidas tracksuit? That's the yes. best one here. Woo! Give us a wave, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's true, he's called the Beast. Really? It's true. <laughs> Good. So, guys, we're going to start off with this question. And we're into, actually, we'll start off with this. I mean, Red Dwarf Sound, it's the 11th season. You've recorded the 12th, which is absolutely amazing. A round of applause, guys. I'm going to start off here. I am a, I'm head of a production company. Sell to me, Red Dwarf. Right now for this era. We're funny. <laughs> Come on, guys, sell me Red Dwarf for this day and age in this moment. Sell me a better sitcom than Red Dwarf. That's it. <laughs> Come on, you're a production man. Mate, yeah. That's stuff. That's stuff. A, guy, a, guy, that a guy that runs a leisure centre. <laughs> Close. Close. Don't talk to me in that tone, young man. <laughs> nah. We don't talk about that. Whoa! <laughs> Chris, Chris got us barred from being on that show. Really, Chris? Yeah. Really? What? <laughs> I've never been in a gym in my life, so I was quite happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of marijuana I know a gym that you've had. had. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> what, what was your original question? The original question is, sell to, <laughs> is sell to me Red Dwarf. Like we've obviously Are Dave dumping it then? We oh, need to I sell don't it know. to you. I just, yeah, you need to sell it to me. I'm, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking multi-million pound buying deal. It? Sell to me, yeah, go for it. Yeah, Come on, I, Danny, I, I, tell us how it is. It's, it's funny. That mean, <laughs> that, that's what you want nowadays, you know, yeah. a, a funny sitcom. There's very yeah. few of them out there. And Strange. Not, not because I'm in Red Dwarf, but I mean, yes, when Britus was on, there was us, there was Britus, and there was many other sitcoms that were funny, but... Nowadays, I'm not so sure. Uh, it's, it's weird it's that, that maybe... It's a kind of space it, in between us, but not as rude. Oh. <laughs> if they'd sort of tried maybe. to sell, a, sell the, the show that is now yeah. and described it to a, a modern 21st century television executive, it, yeah. it may have been laughed out of the room. Yeah. But we don't want that. Well, they were laughed out of the room we originally. We, we, don't, we don't want something <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> they yeah. were laughed out of the room. The thing is that if the, if is, the execs yeah. say it's crap, then it's going to be good. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> They've been wrong about everything else. Yeah. <laughs> so. They had to pretend it was another show to even get it filmed. You really? Yeah. Didn't so they? what film did what what show did they Girls portray? Girls on Top. Girls on Top. Yeah. yeah. It was a slot vacated by Girls on Top, and London. Um, this is a, a no lie. The. the uh, uh, a, a, a gentleman who, will, who shall remain nameless because I think Chris knows him. Um, he actually said to the writers, you know, could we set it among sofas and French windows? So, you know, in your, yeah. And, and they went, um, it's a show about a spaceship. <laughs> and so that's the kind of madness that they were, they were up against in London. And um, so they kept going back and they kept, you know, getting refused and refused and refused. And then, as Hattie said, Girls on Top, they didn't want to make another series, so they kind of crowbarred it into that slot. So we had to go to Manchester to get it made, pretty much. The Manchester Renaissance, you know, we, we're part of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Hacienda, Red Dwarf, Man United football, everything was happening in Manchester. Fuck London. I mean, funk London. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the new series. Uh, Chris, how long did it take you to film the officer's club scene um, in <laughs> Officer Rimmer? Well, yeah, I've been talking about that scene this morning to, oh, yeah. to people who, who want to know. And um, s w with the modern technology, you know, it, it actually is quicker than you think it's going to be. Because okay. they can just divide up the screen, it seems, incredibly quickly and easily um, and, and put different things in it. You know, and obviously there were various versions of me in it. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, the new Red Dwarf is a mixture of very modern, ultra-high technology and also good old low-tech, because yeah. the Rimmer Monster was uh, 
just a sort of fabricated giant thing with lots of uh, rim uh, masks and, 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 and heads that, you know, and strong gymnasts. young gymnasts, uh, yeah, gymnasts got into, uh, and me. Um, and, uh, you know, we, um, we sort of made it, it was on rollers, so, yeah. so we sort of yeah. made it move. So, uh, yeah, it was one of the more complicated of the shows to do this series, but, um, you know, I was, uh, yeah, I think we, we all, I mean, we were pleased with the results of all six shows, to be honest. Yeah, cool, cool. So, I know there's not four of you on there, but can we get a rendition of the Rimmer Barbershop Quartet? up on stage now oh my god we'd uh, love to see that guys wouldn't we yeah uh no ah <laughs> rim, rim, rim 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 uh, yeah. rim uh, um, rim 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 you are what you are rim 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 yeah a bit of a nightmare to uh, yeah. to do that but um we we managed it yeah, cool, cool. It's, uh, it's going to be next year's Eurovision entry. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me, Hattie. <laughs> you, can ne- you can't use rim and entry in the same sentence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Well We're done, not Dad. having that at all. This is, there's kids in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hat, what are you like? So, and it, oh, she's talking about Moving on, guys, moving on. Rimming and bloody... <laughs> Enter the Ooh. realms of another question. That's Let's it. exit stage right. <laughs> so, Danny, uh, in the episode Can of Worms, uh, did you give any tutoring to the female cat? Uh, no, they, the only tutoring that was happening was in me. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Well, you know, the female cat was a polymorph and it impregnated me. I'm <laughs> glad to see you were all paying attention, attention. to that yeah. episode. <laughs> no, no, um... Well, uh, you know, the, 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 the cat's entrance is pretty much known. I'm pr- I'm most, most people can do that. Yeah. Right? That's mine. This is mine. Everyone can do that, right? Go on, then. See, look. That's Come on, then. Let's have some this cat. Give us it. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> hey, listen, even Stewie did it on Family the Guy. Yeah. Who remembers when he went in his sister's bedroom and, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Yeah, yeah. And someone said there was something on the other day where someone said it. Some crazy show. Yeah, so it's been done a couple yeah. of times. Do you know what? In, in Can of Worms, there was something on that show that was longer than anything an Officer Rimmer to shoot, and that was us going around like that. With the <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that. That. We were doing that They forever. did that all day. In freezing all falling. All day. We did oh. that all day and all night. And did you get, was, uh, didn't you get sick up. that night? Not that night, no. Uh, um, I, I got dizzy. I, I, got, I, got, dizzy. I got really ill as well that night. Bloody state, uh, what is it called? That pumping station. Holy. Uh, oh, no, um, Sunbury. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. God, dear. Well, that's, that's the next series. That's, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we won't talk about that. Well, we can. We can say that we're all four of us going to be Crichtons. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. got a question on that. Hold that, hold that for. The only other question I've got for Danny, I'm going to take you swiftly away from that. Um, are you embarrassed about Cat's virginity coming out of the bag? <laughs> Why, is he, is he a virgin? I think so. What you mean? You think so? You're not. <laughs> you're not paying attention. I'm not paying who, attention who thinks, at all. Who, uh, is he still a virgin? Is he still a? There, yeah. was, a, there was a really obvious clue yeah. in the end scene. <laughs> right. So he was dreaming. So I don't know. You better. We'll, we'll have to see when Doug yeah. writes uh, the next bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hattie, what was your favourite scene to film when you when you was on the show? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, because I, I was sitting there for most of <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bit where I did the back flips, I think, okay. across the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I suppose you'd say in Dimension Jump, where I stood up instead of sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty wild. Uh, otherwise, I just had a stunt woman do it all, mostly. Okay, so have you got a favourite Red Dwarf episode? Um, throughout the seasons, have you got a favourite episode? Um... Oh, um, I vary We're between Dimension Jump and Marooned, I yeah. think. Cool, cool. Yeah. So do you reckon Holly will return as well? Do you reckon she'll return to our screen? Uh, I can say that Holly's not in Series 11. Okay, nice. I'm not in, I've not been filmed okay. for it right. or anything. Okay, <laughs> no worries. So how well do you feel your characters have progressed from, say, day one all the way through till now? Come on, Danny. Um, progressed? I think he's just he's just got a bit mature. Um, I think 
Because people say, oh, how come he can fly a spaceship? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> well, it only takes seven years to fly a plane. And yeah. we've been going 29. <laughs> true, true. Do you know what I mean? It's only seven years to be a doctor. And so everyone goes, how can he fly? 29 years, man, you can fly yourself. <laughs> I, I think Chris. Rimmer's um, still as irritating as he always was. Uh, just a, a bit more quiet. <laughs> um, sometimes, yeah. Cool. So, um, what's been like the character? Your all of your characters' highlights through, like, kind of, like the highlight you could probably pick out from all of the Red Dwarfs like episodes you've done. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, sorry. Did, did you say an episode? Or, or, yeah, or any episode you could choose. What's been the highlight in any, like, any kind of any of the episodes that you've all been in? Really? Well, uh, for me, it's you know. Um, when Dwayne Dibley turns up because you know you get to play two characters in the same episode and you know to have to have one you know popular character in a, in a sitcom yeah to have two in the same sitcom is you know you can't compare it okay fair enough Chris yeah it, it's it, uh, I always tediously say you know it's easier to pick shows that are are not quite as good as the others yeah. but but like Danny, for me, the equivalent is, is Ace in Dimension Jump, you know, and him being with, uh, you know, against Smeghead Rimmer. But, you know, then there's way back in Series 1, there was Me Squared, when you had the yeah. two <laughs> Smeghead Rimmers, you know, competing yeah. with star jumps and stuff. <laughs> you know, um, right. you know in, in Series 10, you had Trojan with um, yeah. my brother, brilliantly played. Um, oh. Yeah, he was great. And when Rimmer was just showing off, he was like making fearless, us laugh. Fearless right commander Lister, all this sort of stuff. You know, <laughs> some great, great scenes. So you know, they're all so. That's so. What's so good about Red Dwarf? Yeah. So many great shows and scripts. Uh, what about you, Hattie? As well, the highlight from the episode you was in. Um, I suppose I'd have to choose one where my hair was slightly different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. Uh, one last question before we oh, go to our audience though. for a few <laughs> questions. Um, We've heard you filmed a scene as mechanoids. <laughs> what, what did you think of your mechanoid masks? Well, I mean, that came out of a joke, really, that, that episode. Um, yeah. Um, we'd finished the series 10, wasn't it? And, we, and we, me and Craig grabbed a couple of Robert Llewellyn's spear Crichton heads. Yeah. And um, we got the makeup artist to spray them our colour. And then we burst into the production office, <laughs> and, and Doug literally had art failure. <laughs> we started, you know, b being very angry that you know we didn't like the fact that mechanoids were coming over here and stealing all our women and stuff. <laughs> and that's how that kind of started the ball rolling. And then we all thought, well, you know, it'd be quite an interesting episode. And that's basically how it happens in Red Dwarf. You give Doug an idea, and next thing there's going to be an episode, and that's it. Cool, cool. Yeah, it, it, it's you give Doug a line. A line, and yeah. It's in the episode. <laughs> well, you know, a, a line you know, of dialogue. With, with the Crichton thing, the, the interesting thing was with Crichton, you think that when you put the mask on, everyone's going to look like Crichton. Yeah. But they don't. No, they look they like don't us. Look like us. Like <laughs> Crichton mask on. It looks like yeah. us. So it's quite, quite bizarre. Very weird. Yeah. Like, you know, you, so we'd be here, say, we'd have the Crichton masks on, and then you, get, you start just daydreaming, and I'm looking at Chris thinking, that shit is weird. <laughs> you know, and you're just staring at him going, oh my it is God. Weird. God. <laughs> that is weird. And we, that's all we would say to each other. We'd walk around going, you look weird. <laughs> and I go, not as weird as you. That's it. But yeah. tell you what, Robert deserves, mate, I don't know what he deserves. He deserves, he's a trooper. He deserves yeah. 10 times the salary of us yeah. <laughs> going <laughs> through what he did. Three yeah. times... In yeah. the mask was enough for, for, uh, for me, anyway. The, the guy that played Butler, I mean, he was hallucinating, wasn't he, under that? He was probably yeah. having a bad time. <laughs> and, and it was like, Robert's been doing this for like 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> Butler was like, this is his old God. Oh. Oh, on the second day, he, yeah, yeah, he, he was he like, looks, looks, oh, God, He oh, looks man. tired, yeah. He but was Robert absolutely does absolutely hammered. Sometimes four days a week, didn't he? Robert's there, you know, sort of having his makeup done. <laughs> he knows how to economise yeah. during the day, yeah. you know, uh, which is which is a, a skill in itself. Cool, so we're gonna have a question from our audience, guys. So put your hands up. There you go. Hi. Uh, hello. 
Uh, question for Danny John Jules. Danny, hello. Hey. Um, since Red Wolf, you're probably well known these days for the BBC drama Death in Paradise. Yeah. Yeah, and I wondered um, the cast from the series. Is there anyone particular from that show you'd like to see turn up in Red Wolf? Yeah, Dwayne Myers. <laughs> That's Dwayne. Uh, yeah, thank you. It would be two Dwaynes, wouldn't there? Yeah. That's some, that's some split screen we could have fun with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't want any of the others. Any more questions? Go Lady there, how they ran up already. There you go, let me come out of the way. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, I absolutely loved Tongue Tied. It was one of my favorite bits. Um, is there any more plans to do any more songs or anything like that? I, I, I've been working on a couple, actually. One of them's... Um, I'm gonna eat you, little fishy. I'm gonna. Do, I'm doing. A, I'm doing. I'm doing a. I'm doing um, a fresh metal version. Go for it. They Danny. think I'm lying. I'm no, gonna, go for I'm it. Gonna, I'll find it for you. That's it. I'll just find the backing track. You can ask another question. Do, while hopefully, Craig and I won't have to dance to it. Because <laughs> Craig and I will. Craig, Craig and I both admit we are fairly pony dancing. You know? <laughs> um, so, Danny, no, no. Uh, don't show us up again, yeah? Oh, come on, Dan. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that's it now. He's on his phone now, guys. That's it now. That's it, like. No, I said... I, I did say ask another question. Oh, OK. <laughs> One more question. Stick around up, guys. Quick. Hi, guys. Um, a question I've always sort of wanted to know the answer to. Um, cool. <laughs> Always wanted to know the answer. In the original series, the two cat arcs that leave the ship, one gets destroyed, but is there any story arc for the surviving ship, for the rest of the cat? It's a cat question. Okay. That sounds remarkably like a cat question, sir. It does, yeah. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? Sorry. You better repeat the question, sir. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, I want to know sort of if there's any storyline for the surviving members of the cat race, apart from cat, obviously. Well, uh, well, we just we just, we just saw one in this um, series, which you know the cat woman. I mean, it's it's non-specific. She was just another cat, obviously. But uh, you, you know, we've seen cat women before. The polymorph before was Francis Barber turned into the cat woman, and of course we saw one on the tongue-tied video. So we've seen. I think is it three cat women now? Uh, well, actually, uh, five if you count the two in the bed. <laughs> that probably hasn't answered your question, has it? Have we got it, Danny? I think that's a question oh, for no, Doug. No, no, no. Next oh. time I see him, I'll ask him. <laughs> he's, st he's still trying to flash. Can we turn Danny's mic up, please? DJ, DJ, what do we think of that though guys, come on, do you know, I, I could probably play that on the guitar, that's it, <laughs> it's one chord, Hattie's loving it, come on Hattie, is it, <laughs> Look at Danny, so happy. <laughs> right, so it sort of makes verse. status quo's work seem complicated, doesn't it, really? <laughs> so one last question yeah, for me before I was we... joking, right? <laughs> That's it. I'm going to eat you, little fishy. <laughs> one last question for me, guys, before we wrap this interview fish up. Fish Knot, is that the name of the band? Fish Knot. <laughs> fish Soup. <laughs> Is the final episode of season 12 going to be your last or can we look forward to it going further? Would you like to see it go further or is it going to be going to see... Would it go further? What, this, uh, this one? No, the final episode of season 12. Oh. Is it the last or will it go forward or do you want it to go forward? Well, I mean, it, 
Doug's going to come up with funny stuff. It's it's not if it, he will. If, if if everyone wants to do it, he will come up with funny stuff. Um, I'll do, after 29 years, only a fool would doubt that. I think Doug's already gone on True. record as saying that he won't do a final. This is the end of Red Dwarf yeah. episode. Yeah. It will be. It will just be another episode, and yeah. if it ends on that episode, it ends. You know, but. Um, there are no concrete plans, I think, to, to do anymore. But, it, you know, I think we all believe it would be nice to have something for, for the 30th birthday uh, yeah. in, in uh, yeah. 2018. That's crazy. That'd be brilliant. So, so, you know, watch that space. 30 years. Well, thank well, you very much, guys. Remember, you guys at home, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got loads of stuff on there for you to view as well. Thank you very much again, guys. The Red Dwarf cast, thank you. Yay! I'm gonna eat Whoa. you little fishy. Fishy. I'm gonna eat you little fishy. Thank you. Ah. Oh. We're running on. Bad luck. <laughs> when the sun goes down. <laughs> Thank I you guys. Cheers. Ba ba ba